I can't believe this stupid country is doing this again. I'm closing the comments because right now I'm just venting. I'm not interested in arguing. I'm not interested in relitigating what his opponent should have done differently. I'm not interested in woulda, coulda, shoulda. The fact of the matter is this stupid country has once again elected a senile lunatic with absolutely zero positive traits. Absolutely zero redeeming qualities. A man who has never accomplished a single actual worthwhile thing in his entire life because apparently they've already forgotten what a train wreck his first presidency was. Like, remember how panicked we were the first time he won? Remember how much we were dreading what was to come? And then what came was so much worse than we expected? Like, most of us didn't see the pandemic coming, but his boss response ruined all of our lives for over a year and is arguably still making our lives difficult. And this despite the fact that he's gotten even more incoherent over the past four years, swaying aimlessly on stage instead of answering questions, forgetting what state he's in during rallies, babbling about Hannibal Lecter because he's too fucking stupid to know what the word asylum means. The man's brain is actual pudding, and people looked at that and thought, yeah, that's what I want. And that's ignoring the fact that he's a convicted felon who was found liable by a jury of sexual assault and who Jeffrey Epstein bragged about being friends with. Like, there is nothing about the man that doesn't suck. If you were writing a fictional character that did everything he did exactly the same way, it would be mocked for being a far-fetched, implausible straw man villain that nobody could possibly believe is real. And people keep voting for him? And insofar as he has any coherent plans... They are plans that are specifically designed to hurt people. Like, his plan to fix the economy is tariffs? So because people were annoyed by inflation, they voted for the guy who will make us pay even more for things? He's a fucking idiot. And that's before you even get into his plan for mass fucking deportation, which is just insanely evil. And I hate that the only hope I'm holding on to right now is that his blithering incompetence holds him back from being as evil as he wants to be. But even then, I know a lot of people will be hurt. His incompetence held him back from implementing a lot of what he wanted to do in his first term, but he still managed to hurt a lot of people. There were still 461,000 deaths that can be directly attributed to his policies. And people wanted fucking more of that? Yeah, yeah, orange man bad, whatever, but... Literally every single thing about the orange man is bad. Zero good things about him. Zero. And that's what America decided they wanted. Anyway, I don't know what the future holds. Things are about to get real abnormal, no matter what. And this channel is a place where I make silly stuff to make people laugh, and I do intend to keep doing that to the best of my ability, but a little hard to channel my energy into that right now, so the silly stuff I make might slow down a bit. It might not, I don't know. The riff next week is ready to go. I'll try to get next month's videos done, but... We'll see what happens. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and take care of each other because most people in this stupid country have no interest in doing that. I'll talk to you soon.